In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use color creatively and effectively using Divi. Today's episode is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to create a color palette. So there are several websites out there that can help you generate color palettes. So the one I use is colors.co and color.adobe.com. So in this example, I'll be using colors.co. So this is the website. So the first thing you want to do is to generate your colors. So you can do that by pressing the space bar. So if you press the space bar like that, the colors just start changing and this gives you several color palette options. So once you're settled with the color palette that you like, the next thing you, you want to do is to go into Divi. Okay, so right now we can see that we have a default color palette. So what you want to do is to copy the hexadecimal values of your color palette that you've just generated from this website onto Divi. So let's start off with the first color here. So I'm just going to copy the hexadecimal value and paste it over here, just like that. Okay, so you want to continue doing this until you have all these colors added okay so all i'm doing here is copying and pasting right so for these last colors here i'm just going to add white so i don't confuse myself so white is uh six f's okay so i'm going to do that to the final two colors Excellent. So now I have all my colors added. So the next thing I want to do now is to save this. So I'm going to come all the way down here and click on save changes. Okay. So all my changes are now saved. So now I have my color palette on my website. So now let's go and create a brand new page and I'll show you how to use these colors now. So I'm going to come over here to all pages, click on add new. And all I'm going to do here is to just call my page color. And then I'm going to click on Use Divi Builder. So for this example, I'm just going to build my page from scratch. So I'm going to click here on Build Page from Scratch. Okay, so let's start by adding content onto our page and also utilize the colors that we've used to create our color palette. So I'm going to come over here and uh, create a uh, create three columns, and I'm going to add blurbs in here. Okay. So the next thing I, I want to do here is to come over here to image an icon and add an icon. So the icon I'm going to use here is, in fact, I can just use any icons here. It doesn't really matter. And then next, I'm going to come over here to my design tab, image an icon. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a circle here on my icon. So now we can see that the colors that we added earlier on from uh, colors.co are now added here. And these are the colors for my color palette. So I can start now by choosing my colors. So here, this could be my, my color for my circle. And then over here now, I can now choose, you know, different colors here for the actual icon. So I'm going to go with that. And then over here, I'm just going to make sure that the size is okay. So I'm just going to reduce this to about, let's say 40. Okay. So I'm happy with that, but already we can see that the colors now that we've just introduced to the icon really, really looked nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, work on the text. So I'm gonna come over here to text. So title text, I'm gonna add a color to that. So I'm just gonna use my color here from my color palette, like that. And then I'm gonna go to my body text. And for my body text, I'm going to, let's see what we can use here. So as we can see here, if we try to use this, this becomes too light. So this is where now we want to use the colors that are auto-generated by Divi. So I'm going to come over here and now we see that we have all these colors here that were generated. So I can choose now to use maybe this one right here, which is a uh, slightly light gray, or I can even go and use a lighter version like that. That should work. And then over here on the titles, we can be even more creative and use color just like that. Okay. But again, if you want to choose a color from the palette, we can also use maybe even a darker version of that. So that looks great. And then finally, what I want to do now is to just um, align this. So I'm going to come over here to text, text orientation, and now everything is aligned. 
and then I can save. So all you have to do now is to duplicate these a few times and then drag them into position. Okay, so as you can see, we've added our, our, our colors to our text and also our icons and this looks great. Now, what about adding color to our image? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a brand new section. Click on regular. So in this section here, we're going to add two columns. In the left column, I'm going to add a call to action. Okay, like that. So that's our call to action. And then I'm just going to save for now. So I'm going to drag this slider up over here to the top. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add an image to this background. So I'm going to come over here, click on background, click the third tab and add my image. So I'm going to come over here to select files. So the image I need to add is on my desktop. I'm going to come over here to my desktop, drag and drop. This is where it is. And my image is black and white. And the reason why I'm using black and white is uh, I'm going to show you in a minute why I've chosen to use black and white. Okay, so now that I have my image in here, I'm going to select it and click upload an image. So now we can see our image has been added to the background, which is great. Right, so that's fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead now and save for now. So over here, I'm going to go into my uh, row settings because I need to add some margins so we can see more of this image. Okay, so I'm going to uh, search for margin. So for the top and bottom, I'm going to add, let's try 20%. Okay, that's a bit too much. Let's make it 10%. Okay, so that's much better. 10% works perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and save. And then over here, I'm going to go into my call to action and make some adjustments. So first of all, get rid of this background color. So I'm just going to make it transparent, just like that. And then I'm also going to add my color. I mean, sorry, my link for my button so my button can show. So my button is now showing. That's great. Save that. And then I'm going to come over here now to my background and make some adjustments. OK, so now that we're here in our background, this is where now we can start using our colors to add a bit more style to our header area. So first of all, I'm going to come over here to my gradient uh, tool. Click my first color. So here are my colors. So this is going to be my first color. And then I'm going to add my second color here. OK, just like that. So now I'm going to place my gradient above this image, just like that. But as you can see, most of my, I mean, my image has been covered now. So I need to go in and reduce this transparency so we can see some of the image. We're going to do the same with the second color, like that. So that is how you can really stylize your, Im your images by making it black and white and then adding color on top of it. Okay, so this is how you can creatively use color. So you can also try and use a different color altogether. So this one here could work. But you know what? I prefer using this. So let's stick to that. Okay, so great. So I have my color in there. Now I can go ahead and save. So as you can see, I'm using all my colors from my color palette. Great. So finally, you can also go in here and uh, make some adjustments to this text. But for now, we're just going to leave this as it is. So let's add another section. And uh, this time, we're going to add color to the section. So I'm going to click this plus button here. Click on regular. And uh, again, we're going to divide this into two. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add images. So I'm going to search for my image module that and add my image go to my media library and select my image so i'm going to go with this image right here okay so that's going to be my image and then i'm going to save so i'm going to drag in fact i can leave this as it is so now i'm going to come over here to my background and add my background color so this time it's going to be a solid color and this color is going to be from my color palette as well as i did before save that and then here, I can add a text module. Okay, so what I'm going to do here for the text is I'm going to use my color from my color palette for the text. Okay, just going to add a bit more text there. And let's add a title here. So let's make this heading two. Great. So now I'm going to go to design heading text. Let's go to heading two and add our color. 
So first of all, over here, I'm going to try these colors and see which one works. So I think that one is fine. And then I'm going to come over here to my body text. And uh, I'm going to play around with these colors. I think this one is very subtle and I really like the way it's working there. So that looks great. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now over here, I can also stylize this. I can also add section dividers. So I'm going to add a divider to the top. And let's choose the style. So let's go with maybe this one here. Adjust our height. Then save. And then I'm going to add a bit more padding over here. Great. So that looks better already. Do the same there. So that we can add a bit more white space. So as you can see, I've actually used the colors from my color palette to, from, uh, to achieve this layout design. So it's got my branding, it's got my colors. So this is the best way to use colors within Divi. So let me do one more section so I can show you how we can vary these colors as we are making our designs. So over here, I'm going to click this plus button. In fact, let's duplicate this. So, so I can save, you know, some time. Okay, so now that I've duplicated this, I'm going to go into my section settings, click on background. So this time I'm going to use a different background color. So I'm going to go with this one right here. Okay, and save. And then I'm going to switch the colors now because the colors that I used here don't work because of this uh, changed background color. So I'm going to come over here to my heading text, choose H2, then select my color. So now my colors are just a reverse of what I have there on the top. Or if you want to make it a bit subtle, you can always come over here and choose these colors that were auto-generated by Divi. You can choose that. In fact, that doesn't work. Uh, let's try this one here. Okay, so I'll go with that. And for my body text, maybe we could go with that or even try these and see which one works. But you know what? For that, I'm just going to keep it simple and just have it with that color. Okay, and then finally, just to balance this page, you can just drag this over here to the right and then drag everything else over here to the left. Okay, and let's change this image because the image doesn't look right. Okay, so um, let's see what we can add here. So let's add this. Let's add this image. Great. So as you can see now, my page, my page is balanced and I'm using the same colors from my color palette. So this is how you use color creatively and effectively in Divi. Today's episode is brought to you by DiviCake.com. Check out the huge selection of Divi themes, layouts, and plugins. The link is in the description below. All right, so that's all I have for you in today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course which you can go to right now in the comments box below and enroll. So the course is 100% free. It's called WordPress Mastery. And also, if you want to take your design skills to the next level, I have a course called Divi Blueprint 3. It has a 50% discount. So go ahead and sign up for that course. And this will take your design skills to the next level. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.